Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day on this Sunday. It's kind of overcast here. The weather's not great. Um, but I guess we have to have the cloudy days to appreciate the sun more. Anyway, um, I just thought I would come and check in with everybody and see what's going on. Um, I've been watching videos myself, and I've always had a hard time reading for myself, but the videos actually seem to be speaking to me somewhat. But I did want to mention that not everything in each video may be pertinent to your situation, but one way that you could help me is by liking the video if it does um, and I did want to mention too that um, on YouTube where I post the videos if you do happen to like one I can't tell who likes them I can just see how many likes there are and it doesn't matter to me who it is I just want to know that these videos are even helpful because if not I just need to find something else to do with my time <clears throat> I can also tell you that God is showing me that I only have trouble with my throat when I do the videos, <laughs> which indicates that either I'm not speaking clearly or you're not hearing clearly because <laughs> I pick up energy from other people. And since it only happens when I do the videos, I can only imagine that it's probably you wondering what in the world is going on because maybe you are getting something out of the videos and you're kind of like I am and you're wondering why this works. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> I just know that it does. <laughs> so I'm sorry I can't be more help to you. Um, but I was thinking about it this morning. You know, when you go to church and you sit down and you listen to a sermon or you play one on TV, Usually everybody in the congregation hears something in the message. Maybe the whole message doesn't apply to their situation, but usually God will speak through that man up there and you'll hear something that applies to your situation. Now, I'm in no way a preacher. <laughs> Let's just start right there. But I am trying to connect with spirit, with the divine, with the source of all that is. And I have my own personal beliefs about that, and I identify with Christianity because that's the way I was raised. But I will say that um, since I've been doing this, I have met a lot of interesting people all around the world. And it has just brought so much joy to my life during such a difficult time. To be able to connect with people. And I've even got people that I've connected with that are in prison. Somehow they've managed to get telephones in the prisons. I have one that, I don't know where he's at. I would assume maybe India. But he tells me otherwise. But I know because it shows up on my Facebook where people are. Um, <clears throat> but I just want to say that. People can have their own beliefs, and it's okay. We don't have to believe the same way, as long as we believe something. And the Bible's clear that he's the only way, and I believe that, but I can't control what other people believe. There's plenty of other readers. There's plenty of other card readers that have different perspectives. And I'm looking forward to the day when I have somebody to help me. And hopefully they will have a different perspective. And they will read the cards differently. I can even, I even visualize a time when two of us are reading at the same time with different decks. And letting God speak through each one of us in our own individual way. Because I've never seen that done. And I need some help with um, my videos as far as I would love to put some authentic um, how do I say that I know there's a way to say that but I'm not a musician I would love to have somebody that can write and compose music their own authentic music 
genuine fair stuff um, and put it to the videos I don't even know how far we could go with that but I think pretty far um, maybe even write some music together who knows who knows I've written some songs already that could probably be put to music and performed but I know I still got some more songs in me and I, I would love to get the deck of cards um, published which I'm planning on trying to do um, this coming week I'm gonna try and send them in somewhere I've got the artwork now I just need to sit down and go through them and put the uh, artwork with them each particular card and they do seem to be working so maybe send out some test decks to some readers some good readers on YouTube and let them try them out on their channels who knows we'll see God will direct me exactly in the direction to go I had someone reach out to me the other day I think it was maybe yesterday who offered to help me ex in exchange for a reading to do a website so that's something I'm considering I'm not a big fan of Facebook but I have to say that I have met some of the most interesting people this year I'm not even kidding you like I have one friend that's in the CIA who would have ever imagined that I would have a friend in the CIA and there was a plane flying over because he's a pilot and I was like I wonder if that's him because <laughs> he flies all the time I guess um, so you meet some interesting people in life when you finally get on the right path I have one friend that's in France and I have one that's in Italy so I said that to say sometimes where is it at <clears throat> it'll come out in the readings because it always does and I can't even find it to save my life right now but sometimes when you see the tower it might represent their country and they can't speak English and I can't speak French or Italian but I've learned how to use my phone and the translator on my phone so that we can communicate and they actually can communicate through the cards if I hold them up and show them the spirit can speak to them whatever they want to communicate to them about the cards so However it works, it works, and I'm grateful that it does. I separated my trinkets because I felt like I should. And I went back to my original set and put the new ones in a separate bowl because I, I just felt like I should do that. And we'll use them. I put the silvers all together and the bronze all together. Anyway, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. I just wanted to say that. And then I also would like to say, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, um, I hate to announce all that every video, but I'm not going to get anywhere if I don't. Just know that um, I'm going to try to do a better job of discussing to you what the signs and stuff are, because I know I have some people that watch that don't really understand astrology, and I'm still learning too, so we'll learn together. Um, but I told you the other day, you got to have your birthday, your time of birth, and your place of birth, and then you can put that in. For some reason, I'm getting a pain behind my left eye. I don't know if somebody might have a headache. Anyway, you can find an app in the app store on your phone or your laptop or whatever <coughs> and you can put the information in and then they'll they'll give you a copy of your birth chart and then what I noticed the other day when I made that video when I was asking about sun signs all of the signs in my chart showed up relevant for me so you probably need to know your sun your moon your rising and your Venus sign if you want to get an accurate picture of what's going on with you and then you can look at all those different aspects the Sun sign is the, the person that you present to the world the moon sign is your emotional self your Venus sign is 
typically representative of your love life. And then your ascendant or your rising sign is who you're meant to become in this lifetime. And that'll happen by following spirit and the authentic self that you need to become. And that comes through an awakening of sorts, a spiritual awakening. And I've never been a religious person, so this fits perfectly with me and my personality and who I'm supposed to become because my ascendant is, well, I actually have two if you take daylight savings time into consideration, which is a man-made concept. I'm on the cusp, I guess you might say, of Pisces and Aquarius. So hopefully um, I'm walking on the Aquarius side of that now. I mean Pisces side of that now. I don't know, maybe both. Maybe I'll always be both. And maybe that explains a lot in my life. A lot of the struggles in my life and how, I'm, how I ended up here. But I'm here, so we might as well take advantage of it, huh? Oh, and I had a gentleman today. His brother is incarcerated for murder. And he was in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people. And so we definitely want to remember him in our prayers because he is incarcerated now for a, a month and he has a 20 year sentence and he's only 25 years old. And I can only imagine the heartbreak that his mom is feeling. So when you say your prayers, please remember him and his family in your prayers, especially his brother who is so devastated over this situation. And also, um, just pray for me that I will have success in this. And please, if you can, show support. If, it's, if it resonates, please just like the video on YouTube. I won't be able to see who you are. And if you really want to be brave, leave me a comment because I love hearing from people. And I'm just dreaming of the day when I'm, no, I'm not alone anymore and I have some help. And I know it's coming in God's time, not in mine. So, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, how do you want to do this today? How would you like to do this today? I really love, I love all my cards. We have such a different relationship. Um, I'd like to use the Sacred Rebels today. They're, they're one of my favorite decks. And I also have become very fond of the Lightseers. So we'll use those also today. And I hope everybody's doing what they need to do for their integrating the prayers and the practical things that we need to integrate in our lives. I know I have been trying. I'm not perfect by any means, but I'm trying. Okay, Spirit, what else would you like to use today? Of course, we're going to use the Heal Yourself because I'm convinced that those cards are important to what I'm doing here. And maybe I'm going to use the publisher for that deck to try and get mine published. I've had, I contacted a few last week and I didn't have any success. Everybody was saying they weren't taking any new cards. But somebody's going to take these cards. I promise you that. <laughs> I am not going to give up just because I hit a brick wall once. They, they don't know me very well if they think I'm giving up at all. Because I'm, I'm not a quitter. I couldn't even quit drugs on my own. Spirit had to help me with that. And I still need help with that every single day. Okay. So, let's see where we want to go here. Spirit, can you please guide this time that we have with you and show me clearly what you would like to say to those who might be watching. Goodness, look at that. <laughs> Y'all trying to get a brand new start. <laughs> you and me both. All right, Spirit, guide us today. Speak clearly to us. Talk about speaking clearly. There's that Queen of Swords. And she don't put up with no bullshit. Good for her. And the hermit. What's he hermit moaning about? All right, Spirit. Show us what's going on today. Show us clearly what's going on today. 
what is the overall energy for those who might see this video? How do you want to do this, Spirit? Just speak to us today. Just speak clearly to us. Whoa. That's a lot of speaking. And uh, I saw the devil for sure. <laughs> and the happy family card. The, the, um, thank you so much, Spirit. Whoops, that was the card from yesterday. All right, Spirit. Let me be quiet and listen to you. That's too many. Spirit, give us a couple of cards to show the overall energy. These came out sideways. <clears throat> Alright, so, because they came out sideways, to me, that generally means that that's what we're working on, but we're not quite there yet. If we were there, the moon card is Pisces, Pisces energy, and it also is about the emotions. So, we're kind of drowning in our emotions right now. Some of us may be drowning in our emotions. The moon, this past time, was so calming. And if you look at this card, it kind of looks that way, doesn't it? And then you have the yin and yang. She's just kind of drowning in her emotions. Maybe blue and green is in some way significant to you. Maybe black and white. Maybe you love the moon. Maybe you have on that blue. But there's the green kind of melting into the blue. Water is somehow significant here. Water. There's somebody that's in water. Okay, now, then we have the Justice card. That's that balancing out of the two sides of yourself. It's a Libra card, but Justice is about looking at yourself and balancing out. Let me see what else I can find out about that card because it can mean so many things. Oh, and I want us to get a good, okay, justice, balance, equilibrium, equality, symmetry, harmony, integrity, honor, fairness, neutrality, moderation, attraction, and could be repulsion to polarity. So maybe the two sides of your emotional self are balancing out because of the moon card. And it can also represent not seeing things clearly. This is all about balance. The Two of Pentacles is about balance in the material world. Balancing your, your prosperity, balancing your abundance, balancing the practical side of yourself, finding that balance between the emotional side of you. But then that's good. That means we're doing what Spirit wanted us to do. We're balancing our, our emotional side with that physical side. We have Pisces, Libra, and we have Capricorn showing up so far. Um, it could also be... And I also want to say that we have the Divine showing up strongly here. The Divine is showing up in our emotions and balancing things with equal give and take. Maybe you have on a black shirt, maybe orange, maybe you like black, maybe you like orange, maybe. Maybe you have on a black sweater. You might have long brown hair. You might keep it unkept. Makes you look sexy. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Spirit, what else? What else? 
You definitely have unkept hair. We got that high priestess in reverse again. So we're still not listening to spirit, but we will be. Because spirit's not going to... Oh, guess what happened to me last night? I had a dream. Remember we were talking about dreaming? This is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. The high priestess. That's the divine again. The divine wants to speak to our minds. Are we meditating? Are we praying? Spirit, what else do you want to say here? You are showing up so strong in this reading. Okay, so here's our regrets again. Be patient through the regrets. Spirit's going to help you with patience. That balance again. Look at the balance here. Look. Can you see us? The, 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 um, the freaking window is. Hold on. <coughs> there we go. Hopefully that'll help. Sorry about that. But if you'll notice, there's the balance again. You might have on a t-shirt. Maybe you have on jeans. Maybe you're a construction worker. That's what this looks like. Maybe you have like reddish brown hair and you keep it back in a ponytail. Um, you definitely have angels protecting you. You have at least one very strong angel protecting you. You look like you've been through some stuff. You're probably still going through some stuff. But just know that God has you. This is a Sagittarian card. Yeah. And then the regrets. You're letting go of the regrets, which is giving you a lot of peace. Now you're not looking at those bowls that are spilled anymore. Now you are starting to focus on that one that's full. See, this is the way that this card looks. This is Scorpio. See how she's regretting things and she's sad and she's just, okay. But then there's this bowl back here behind her that's full of good stuff. And see, when it's in reverse, that means that she's, she's noticing that there's something better. I think you probably love the stars. You probably like to be outdoors. You probably like nature. <clears throat> okay, Spirit, what else do you want to say? What else do you want to say? Spirit, speak to me. Okay, so we have hope. Yeah, and this is always good when the Knight of Wands is in reverse. Knight of Wands is the player. <laughs> so maybe that player is finally shaping up. The star card is about having hope, knowing that spirit has something better. So maybe you're finally starting to get, get a grasp on hope. And that's why you're no longer having these regrets. But we still have to listen to spirit. Okay? That's the only thing that's showing up so far. And things are like halfway there to the emotional balance that needs to be restored. But the fact that this came out, that's huge. Maybe you're the player. <laughs> and you're no longer going to play like that anymore because you realize that you have hope if you don't. You may have on jeans. That's... The white t-shirt showed up again. Maybe you play drums or some kind of instrument. Somehow there's a horse. I don't know. There's something about a horse. Orange is significant. Blue. Huh. Huh. Okay. So. Nope. Well, but the Knight of Wands, if the Knight of Wands, if the Knight of Wands is going to show up in a reading, hopefully they're going to be in reverse because they are the player of the show. <laughs> and maybe there's a third party situation that's finally come to an end. I don't know. Let's go a little deeper. 
Actually, let's go a little deeper. One more time with these, and then we'll go to another deck. Spirit, thank you so very much. <clears throat> Dang. Mm -hmm. We got the Queen of Wands in reverse. But then we have the Emperor. I mean, the Empress. The Empress. Queen of Wands in reverse. The Empress. The Eight of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So maybe you made a decision about a Queen of Wands. Maybe you are the Queen of Wands and you've decided that you're not just a queen, you're an empress. This is um, a fire sign. It's typically Aries, but it could be any fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They like candles, though. They have a black cat. They have a style of jewelry. They probably wear jewelry. Maybe like the color black. Maybe wear sandals. I'm talking to the same people. But maybe you're finally realizing either you have an empress or you are one. I don't know which. And you're realizing all the possibilities that can come when you either realize you are an empress or you let go of somebody that's not good for you for an empress. And then you have the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. But that just means that there's a little more work to be done. And once the work is done, they'll be in the upright. And to have these two cards in the upright is freaking awesome. That means something's going to move quickly towards a resolution. And that something is going to involve one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people maybe. Eight things. There's something to do with eight. <clears throat> and the Knight of Pentacles is a Leo Virgo energy. <coughs> Open your freaking throat, people. Open your ears, whatever you got to open, but it's hard for me to talk. This knight is slow. He's like the geriatric of the zodiac, <laughs> of the tarot, I mean. He's like the geriatric knight, but when he gets there, he is really solid. He has money, he has career, he has charisma, he has talent, he has usually an empress. <laughs> because he turns into an emperor. He, he possesses everything eventually because he takes his time. He's careful. See the horse again? I don't know. Huh? But it's probably because you're no longer dealing with this knight of wands. Whether it's you or somebody else. Whether it's a man or a woman. These cards do not have gender. We, we don't have gender. So, reverse the roles if you need to. And this right here is what's keeping this upside down. Until this, until you allow spirit to speak to your mind, this is going to stay in reverse. But once you allow spirit to speak to your mind, things are going to move a lot faster towards everything that you need. Everything that you need. Horses are important. And so are, you love like colors. A lot of colors are showing up. A lot of beautiful colors. Okay. I'm, I'm going to leave these in the upright because this is all you need. And that's spirit. You just have to listen to spirit. Okay, spirit. Let's go to... This deck right here, I'm just going to shuffle them once because I keep them shuffled. Maybe you ride horses. Maybe you like horses. Maybe you want to ride horses. Maybe there's a horse somewhere. There is. I promise you there's a horse somewhere because God wouldn't show me horses if they weren't important. I'm going to put these back. 
Spirit, can, can you please give us one card at a time so the reader can read the card correctly? Thank you so very much. Inspiration. Inspiration. And these cards are so rich. Flowers are significant. Bees are significant. But once again, once again, see, this is like, the divine speaking to your mind and illuminating your mind, you know what God's saying to you. And he will come to you in dreams if he has to. Like he came to me in a dream last night and it was the strangest dream I've ever had. But yeah, there's, um, there's a lot of beautiful flowers. For some reason, flowers are significant. Lilies, um, I don't even know what kind of flowers, pansies, and those little yellow things. What do you call those? Dandelions? I love dandelions. I always like to blow them. Here, what else do you want to say to us from this deck of cards? Thank you so very much. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause and collaborative dreaming. Yeah, maybe you're still kind of wondering and this is like new growth to you this is new this is new growth look at the new growth see the new growth this is an old tree with new growth coming out and there you are relax the hold of darkness and be at cause and to me that just says stop trying to be convinced that this is evil because who the hell told you that to begin with and why did you believe them? Because it's not evil. There's nothing evil about this. And suddenly my voice is clear as a bell. Start having collaborative dreams. Wake up. Come on. We got to dream. We have to dream. We have to think. Our thoughts become things. Our words make worlds. Our words create worlds. And we all have different ways that we can be of service. We have energy blocks. I see energy blocks. I see um, throat energy blocks. I see energy blocks in people's minds. I see their ears are blocked. I see their hearts are blocked. There's energy that needs to be cleared. Pandora's gift. Taking off that mask, seeing things from a different perspective. Or maybe putting on a beautiful, authentic way of connecting with the divine. Opening up that box and letting whatever is in there come out. Because who said it was bad anyway? Maybe you have red hair, reddish brown hair. Maybe you have long hair. You're intelligent though. Way, way too intelligent. You might like peacock feathers. Butterflies are significant. Feathers are important. Feathers are very important in this. Even colorful ones. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Okay. All right, Spirit. Give us the Heal Yourself card. What do we need to heal in order for us to receive this gift that you have for us? Say what you mean. Say what you mean. Somebody's being tempted by a soulmate. They have a soulmate. Maybe you have blondish, sandy brown hair, sandy blonde, curls, sometimes curls. You're longing for this person too, and they are longing for you. 
I think you've been together before in past lives, maybe or maybe before in this life, or if you believe in past lives, maybe in the past lives, maybe in 19 past lives, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not 19 past lives I'm kidding but who knows who knows we only know what we know and we don't know anything about past lives we can't prove that or disprove it maybe you're from a different culture maybe you're in the military somebody's got arrows coming out of their head they also have beautiful hair pieces that they wear. Somebody wants to say something, but they're not, they're afraid. They're afraid of being rejected. But I don't see that happening. Say what you mean. Speak up. Stop being afraid and take off your mask. Take off your mask. To me, that could be about somebody spying also for some reason. This has been a very different reading, but that's okay. Spirit, what else do you want to say? They're all different, and I'm glad they're all different. Spirit. <laughs> what are you doing? You know that's too many. Come on, man. Give me, I feel so peaceful though. That's a lot, Sarah. Are you sure you want that many? I'll take them if you give them to me again. I'm sorry. Sometimes I don't never know what to do. I'd be so lost without you. I'm going to take those and see if you want to give us anything else. Let's see what they say. Uh oh. <laughs> I think I hit the nail on the head. Relationship truth. There's a secret that needs to be revealed, and the angels are going to help you. Angels are going to help you, because you need to be in this partnership. Whatever this partnership is, you need to be in it. That orange is showing up again. There's a lot of orange here, for some reason. The truth about a relationship and partnership. Trinkets, please, spirit. Can we get trinkets from the new trinket? What trinkets are relevant to this message today? <clears throat> okay. Somebody's with you that passed away. They're with you all the time and they love you dearly. This, to me, represents the flowers. This is a sailboat, because the beach is somehow relevant. And somehow Arizona is relevant, or this cactus. Who the hell knows? I have no clue. <coughs> but here's the angel again. And I did a reading for somebody last night, and that popped up. Which surprised me, because it was somebody that I know pretty well. Okay, here, what do you have for us out of the old trinket bowl? The old trinket bowl. Okay. I have huh, that same one. Kind, free, to, true to your heart, strong, brave, peace, thankful, compassionate. I have a heart. I have an apple. Maybe you're a teacher. And then I have that horse again. Maybe you like horses. And then I have the cat. I don't know what the cat's about. You know, though. You know. Somebody that watches this knows what that cat's about. One day, y'all are going to tell me, never, never give up. So maybe you're thinking about giving up, but God is not wanting you to give up. Okay? And there's that family tree. That tree of life. Your spirituality is unique, and that's okay. You are always in my heart. So somebody has you in their heart or you have them in yours and you need to speak up about that and be happy in this lifetime. I love you to the moon and back. So maybe somebody says that to you. Anything else, Spirit, before I close this message? One more time on these. One more time on these. Okay. We have 
Be uh, strong is beautiful. I love you, infinity symbols. That's a divine relationship. Uh-oh. I've got this guitar that I cannot hold on to. <laughs> that is my music. There's my music. Find joy in the journey. Find joy in the journey. <clears throat> and then I have a seahorse. And then I have that four-leaf clover. Let's see if I can hold on to it today. Somebody might be getting lucky somehow. Not going to be me. I can promise you that. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Please like the video if it resonates with you so that I know I need to keep making them. Comment if you will. Um, you can do it on YouTube because it's a little more private. And hopefully we'll have a website soon. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And God loves you.